Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome to some more Fallout 4. Uh, just be looking at bases again. So, just in context to what's happened since the last uh, episode, the guys have come to Sanctuary, which is basically... I didn't realise this, but where the main character... Or where the... Yeah. Our guy. Uh, had his house. And everything else. And the little town, I suppose, that he lived in. So... I've started off obviously by modifying a little bit. I had to do some little challenges like getting food, get, them, get their defense up, and all that sort of rubbish. So, just on the entrance to the bridge, I put up two guard towers and then uh, a guard block just behind it as well for a bit of defense. Not that anyone actually mans it at the minute, anyway. Some of the houses were destroyed, so they've been taken out. Obviously, plenty of platform there to put other things on. And on one of them, mainly because it's Obviously, one of the most central parts before we get up to the headquarters or headquarter area. Uh, I've also done a square here as well for defence. So, you know, there's a couple of fallback points there. I don't really put too much thought into it. I'll be honest, a lot of the resources I got from here, I pulled back to my other base just to sort of make that a bit better. So this is uh, basically all, you know, what they've got there, their main base and all these sort of, all the sort of equipment was around here anyway. So I can't take any credit for that. I've got some water pumps, uh, scavenging thingy majig, and yeah, a load of different crops, which is always nice. And the main thing I built them on this plot here, which had a destroyed house on, uh, just one of the great big wooden shacks with ample beds in. And there's five beds in this. Yeah, five beds in that shack. So not a lot really. Um, but yeah, they don't seem happy enough anyway. So that's good, they got everything they need. Oops. Now to show you the Red Rocket base, or Red Rocket truck stop, which is now pretty much, I would say, in its final version. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing too much more to it, I presume. Or I think that maybe when I unlock some of the more advanced defenses and stuff, I might. Oh, ah, we're in a radiation storm. Ah, oh, lovely. Not much I can really do about that. Actually, I don't know that any way you can get rid of it. Um, I think if you sleep, you can get away from it. Is it still a radiation storm or is it past? Oh, I think it's past. Okay, so, you probably noticed a lot of new things. But I'll go for it anyway. I'll take you over to the perimeter first. So we'll start down here. Uh, yeah, this is just a. Where's the? Where are you going? You realise if you open the gate, you risk our integrity, Coswold. Anyway, so this is just basically an extra room for beds, and I've cut it off here. Put a junk fence around. A few outpost bits. A new settler has joined, which is nice. Got a gate as well to keep baddies out. Uh, a little bit of a wire fence up here. Could have put another junk fence, but the um, the gradient's quite difficult to build on, I must say. Uh, there's a watchtower there, junk fence and wire fence all the way down here. More wire fence. Don't even really need to spell this out for you, but basically everything's blocked off. You can't walk in. Which is nice, you can jump over and get in. Uh, it's obviously one of the main blockades there. This is a natural blockade, this this hedge. And these are all the crops I've got. Corn there. Obviously the fruit plants here. Lots of melons. Uh, some tomatoes. And I might have another type, I can't remember. Okay, so one of the glitches I've had is to do with this door. This door doesn't exist. No, not that door. This door doesn't exist. Oh, wait. Oh, goodness. Right, now both doors work. Okay, before, only one door was working. Right, well, now I have two doors. Oh, there you go. And a security. Uh, a couple of cabinets in there, nothing special. The same thing was happening with this one. You could just walk straight through it, but now it works. So there you go. Double door. Oh, well. Never mind. Could be worse, I suppose. Do, 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 do. This is pretty much the same as before, apart from now I've got a light switch in, so I'll just turn on the generator so you can see. 
and then with the switch on, it lights those two up, and when I turn the switch off, they go off. Easy peasy. You can set up some complicated stuff with pressure pads and things, which is pretty cool. Now, as you've seen in the last episode, I had my set of power armor. I was sitting here um, until I was over at the other base trying to sort that out, and some raiders came to attack this one, and the guy nicked my power armor. I can't move him now because he's too heavy. I can't take the power armor off him, and there he is stuck there, probably forever, unless I gain some mad strength. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember how this was looking last time. Two vending machines, two beds in there. Simple as that. I do need to find some more power armor, and I'll probably move it up on the roof, actually, I think. In some sort of sheltered bit, eventually, when I do get another set of power armor. But I do have all the components for it, it's just the main unit, which is God of Walkies. So this was all the same, I think, from previous. I've not made any changes to this at all. I have moved the recruitment tower up here. I just think it, it fits better up here, to be honest, as high as possible. I've got a medium a generator, which gives it five power. So plenty of, uh, of room. I've got a pylon here as well to extend it across. I uh, probably will put another one, maybe uh, around here or something, uh, just so it looks a bit better. But at the minute, that's powering my uh, little shack, which I've made a few, well, which I've added now, actually. So when that's on, it gives me the two lights out the front and my mirror ball in my den, which has got a bobblehead stand. No bobbleheads on it at the minute. My tr trunk, just for putting in random stuff and my bed and of course we've also got the area restricted sign on there which is pretty cool turn them off uh, up here I think exactly the same I've got some spiked poles up just for decor and uh, uh, that turret was there previously wasn't it and my seat was there previously there's only a couple more things to show I've added a new turret which is actually around the back of here Do -do 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 -do. And this is an advanced one, so it's uh, an MK2, I think. Oh, no, it's just as MK1. But yeah, it's an advanced gunner, so it does more damage, probably. And we now have water and pumps and such. And I've also managed to finish the toilet as well. So in here is the toilet, which you can't actually use, but it is meant to be a restroom, even though the settlers always get stuck on that door. I don't know what they're playing at. But yeah, it's a restroom for men and women, because I'm totally inclusive. So there you have it. There's my pretty much completed version of uh, the Red Rocket base. Thank you. And that's the only way in or out, actually. Okay. Obviously, you can jump over if need be, but there you, there you have it. So, yeah, if you're going to do it, remember to protect your power armor. Put it somewhere where it's going to be difficult to get, because the raiders will get it and nick it and use it against you, which I've got to say... I wasn't. I wouldn't expect that sort of thing to happen. But now that it has, now that I know what the AI is capable of, I'll definitely be a lot careful, more care, a lot more careful in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the base, and I'll see you all very soon.